The Story of Thomas the Tank Engine by Rev. W. Audrey Hi, my name is Werner. I've been reading hundreds of books for you. Please subscribe to see them all. And watch until the end where a surprise is waiting for you. Mom can help you there. Thank you. The Island of Sodor This is a story about Thomas the Tank Engine, who worked with his engine friends on the Fed Controller's Railway on the island of Sodor. Thomas the Tank Engine was a cheeky little engine, who helped the big engines by pulling their coaches to and from the big station. But what Thomas really wanted was his very own branch line. That way he would be a really useful engine. Sometimes Thomas liked to play tricks on the other engines. One day when Gordon, the big strong engine, was very tired from pulling the heavy express train, Thomas came up beside him and whistled loudly. Beep beep! Wake up, lazy bones! That gave Gordon a fright. He decided to teach cheeky Thomas a lesson. The next morning, Thomas would not wake up. It was nearly time for Gordon's Express to leave, and Thomas hadn't got his coaches ready. Yawn, said Thomas, getting started at last. Hurry up, Thomas, said Gordon crossly. Thomas's job was to push Gordon's train to help him start. That morning was Gordon's chance to teach Thomas a lesson. As he moved out of the station, he started to go faster and faster. Faster and faster and faster and faster, went Gordon. It was much too fast for Thomas. Hurry, 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 laughed Gordon. Poor Thomas was going faster than he had ever gone before. My wheels will wear out, he thought. Beep, beep, stop, stop, whistled Thomas. At last they stopped at a station. Well, Thomas, chuckled Gordon. Now you know how it feels to be tricked. Puff, puff, panted poor Thomas. He was too out of breath to say anything. His cheekiness had got him into trouble. Perhaps he would never get his own branch line now. The next day Thomas saw some strange looking trucks in the yard. That's the breakdown train, said his driver. It helps out when there's an accident. Just then James, the splendid red engine, came through the yard crying. His trucks were pushing him too fast. And his brake blocks were on fire. Help, help! Soon after James disappeared, a man came running. James is off the line. We need the breakdown train, quickly, he shouted. Thomas was coupled on to the breakdown train, and off he went as fast as he could. Whirr! went his wheels along the track. I must help James, he said. They found James in a field, with the trucks piled in a heap behind him. His driver and fireman were checking that he was all right. It wasn't your fault, James, his driver said. 
It was those troublesome trucks. James needed help. Thomas pushed the breakdown train alongside James. Then he pulled some trucks out of the way. He was soon back to pick up the rest. Oh dear, oh dear, the ground. Serves you right, serves you right, puffed Thomas crossly. He worked hard all afternoon. Thomas pulled James back to the shed, where the Fed controller was waiting. Well, Thomas, he said, you have shown that you are a really useful engine. I'm so pleased with you that I'm going to give you your own branch line. Oh, thank you, sir, said Thomas happily. Now Thomas is happy as can be, and he chuffs and puffs proudly along his own branch line, from morning till night. Gordon is always in a hurry, but whenever he sees Thomas, he remembers to say, Hurry, hurry! And cheeky little Thomas always whistles, Beep, beep, lazy bones! Please subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you. Enjoy my new series Oliver and Chumpy. 19 video books with about 500 pictures. There's text, but I also read it aloud for the younger children. I have written 65 stories and had them illustrated at great cost for your children's fun. Oliver is an elegant tomcat and Chumpy is his lady friend. Oliver loves to ride in Chumpy's pouch when they go for adventures together. Please find a link to the first book in the description of this video. Please always subscribe and like if you find my effort interesting. Thank you so much.